Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a chef instructor at the Natural Gourmet Institute in New York City. Today, I'm in the special demo kitchen. I have here a recipe for crispy sweet potato pancakes. My version has turnips added as well. This is one of my favorite recipes from my book, The Healthy Hedonist Holidays. But you don't need a holiday to make these. You can make them all autumn and winter long, and kids love them. Let's look at the ingredients for this first. I have here some shredded sweet potatoes and turnips. You you're going to need to have something to grate the sweet potatoes and turnips. This is a box grater that you could use, or if you want to do it super fast and you have a food processor, the grating blade on the food processor is terrific. That's how I did mine today. The other ingredients that are going in this recipe are some shallots, a little flour to bind the whole thing together, as well as an egg that will do that, salt, and we're going to use a sprinkling of black pepper. Now one of the tricks that makes this recipe really interesting is that I'm first going to steam these sweet potatoes and turnips for two minutes. That little bit of steaming is going to take the edge off and then when I cook them it'll really shorten the time and I won't need to use that much oil. So I have here a pot with the steamer inside and as you can see it's ready to steam. I'm going to pour it in. You want to be kind of exact about this so once I get this in the pot I put my timer on closing the lid, and I start timing from this. But make sure there's steam coming out first before you even put it in the pot. That was two minutes, so I'm ready to take out these steamed shredded vegetables. I have here my bowl, and I'm going to put these right in the bowl, then I'm going to mix the other ingredients in. While I mix my other ingredients into this bowl, I'm going to set aside my steaming pot and start heating my pot because I'm going to be my skillet because I'm going to be ready to cook these pancakes very shortly. I'm going to be using coconut oil to fry these in. This is one of my favorite oils. Now I'm using aroma free coconut oil because I don't want to get the coconut flavor mixed with what I'm doing today. It's an amazing oil. First of all, it makes your food incredibly crispy and not greasy and it happens to have so many health benefits. I can't even list them here. It would take all day. But a couple of noteworthy ones uh, are that it's great for your metabolism and it's really good for the digestion in general. So I love using it. And it has a really high smoking point as well. Now I'm adding in these other ingredients. I have six tablespoons of unbleached white flour, a teaspoon of salt, six tablespoons of shallots, and an egg. I'm going to kind of roll this egg in here. And I also want to add a good sprinkling of freshly ground black pepper. So now I just need to mix this in really thoroughly. Once the batter is mixed, you could form the pancakes before you put them in the pan. So I like to take a handful and then just squeeze them together. This is such a good technique for other root vegetable as well. Don't limit it to these. You can use parsnips and celery root and beets. It's a great way to get kids to eat their vegetables because they just gobble these up. I'm heating my oil until my hand held one inch above the pan is really uncomfortable. And it is now, so I'm ready to get these in the pan. I'm just sliding them in. Nice sizzle. You should hear that beautiful sizzle. That's how you know your oil is hot enough. So along the way, if you see that the oil is drying out, you could add a little bit more. You don't need a lot, just in between the pancakes, and that'll take care of, of them. So this uses just a fraction of the typical oil that it needs um, to fry something like this. Now I'm going to peek and see if they're browning. Yeah, that looks good, so I'm ready to flip these guys. And I'm going to press down a little bit as well. These are beautiful. Another two minutes. They take about two minutes per size. And that's what that preliminary steaming does. It makes them so fast. These are ready to come out. They're perfectly crispy on both sides. And I'm serving them here with a cranberry sauce, although you could serve them with sour cream, applesauce, or even yogurt. They're delicious even by themselves. 
and that's a recipe for crispy sweet potato pancakes. I'm Ira Kornfeld. I'm a chef instructor at the Natural Gourmet Institute in New York City. Thank you.